Algorithms are world-class strategy masters. Robots are dispatched on rescue missions. Deep learning models can diagnose cancer. Is artificial intelligence changing journalism too? The biggest impact is in the production of the media. It brings a lot of imagination. We can look at the sky. We can understand it as a change. It means that uh, in the future, reporters will have a better job. AI is already being used in and outside of the newsroom to identify emerging trends on social media, analyse crunch data, and to update breaking news in real time. It's no longer about the top news anymore. The next step is to identify the concerns of the people, find out what they think. This video is made from machine-generated content. Everything that you see has been collected and edited by an algorithm. It even generated the voiceover too. The Media Brain Project is a collaboration between Xinhua and Alibaba. It collects data, videos, texts and photos and identifies patterns. In the space of a few short weeks, and Media Brain is already an expert on the two sessions. It's analysed millions of posts and articles that have been shared, commented on or liked across Chinese language internet. It took it just 15 seconds to use a thousand servers and scan 500 million websites to make this video. The two sessions is the height of China's annual political calendar. This year, Xinhua will be using Media Brain to assist its coverage of this huge event for the very first time. And we will be exploring how man and machine report on the two sessions as we head into the era of augmented journalism. First up, with the two sessions due to begin this week, what were people talking about from February the 24th to March the 1st? Among the trending words are two sessions and the guiding ideology of Xi Jinping's thought on socialism with Chinese characteristics of a new era. In addition, the CPC Central Committee and anti-corruption were all widely discussed as was a recent CPC Central Committee communique which outlined upcoming reform measures for party and state institutions. I think uh, it offers a new perspective of a uh, new scheduling process. Uh,媒体大的功能会比较多,包括了那个版权监测,还有甚至有用户画像这样的功能,所以这个在以前的单一的写稿机器人中是没有的。它会帮助我们去占有更多的新闻资源。能够去生产出更好的稿子、更好的产品，然后再受众当中能够更快的进行传播。Xinhua is no stranger to AI-assisted journalism. Kuai Bi Xiao Xin has been writing sports and economic articles since 2015. It's capable of writing a story in seconds and can produce up to 200 a day. And then there was Inspire, which spent last year's two sessions interviewing lawmakers and enjoying all the attention that comes with being Xinhua's first bilingual robot reporter. Automated stories are not going to win any prizes for creativity just yet. And robots may still need to work a bit on their conversational skills, but AI is a game changer. With it, newsrooms can now offer faster, more detailed and insightful content. Join us at the two sessions to find out more about Xinhua's third-generation AI-assisted reporting project.